Hey everyone, welcome to Nicole's Needlework. My name is Nicole and this is a podcast about stitching and knitting. Today is Wednesday, May 23rd and I've just gotten off work. Um, I am coming to you right outside of Charleston, South Carolina. So um, it's getting hot here. <laughs> it's getting humid and I promised I would not complain after we had all that snow and ice, but it is getting hot. So. I have on my Finnish um, Zweig sweater by um, Caitlin Hunter of Boyland Knitworks, and I am so happy with how it turned out. I am using, or I used, Ginger, I used Madeleine Tosh um, Twist Light in Leopard, this is Leopard, and Modern Fair Isle. And I'm just so happy with how it blocked out. Like you can't even see those um, funky short rows that I had before, which makes me so happy. Um, the lace turned out nice, the color work. Um, there's like a little texture, like a little cable texture throughout. Let's see if I can get back. It's a little hard to, to see the whole thing. Let's see if I can adjust this without it falling. But so, so, so happy. And it felt like it was a little short, but once I blocked it out, it's like the perfect length. And I actually didn't um, do a gauge swatch. I just winged it and I'm happy everything turned out okay with it. Um, I used size three for the ribbing Actually, I accidentally used three millimeters instead of US size three for the cuffs, but it's okay. It's only a quarter of a millimeter difference. Um, but three and five, so I used five for the regular. So, um, very happy with how this turned out. And sadly, I was like, I'm gonna wear the sweater even if it's 90, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> it's too hot. So I'm gonna change, I'm gonna get out of this and put a different shirt on. I just wanted to show it. All right, that's so much better. So here it is again. I'll show it up close. There's the lace. And there's the back. So I'm so happy with how this turned out. So, so happy um, for having, I hadn't knit a sweater probably since 2004, 2005. So it'd been about, um, 13 or 14 years and all those sweaters I gave to Goodwill because I absolutely hated them. <laughs> I don't know why I knit them. They were ugly, ugly colors. And and I didn't know about blocking and about making um, things nicer once you wash them. I mean, it makes such a difference to block uh, your knits. So, so glad that's done. And the other shawls I was working on, uh, there was a Cosmic Girl shawl. I ripped that out. I knew. I'm just just not a navy person. Um, I wear a lot of black. I wear a lot of gray. I wear, um, you know, I do wear some bright colors, but um, I didn't know what I was going to wear a navy and white shawl with. Because I mainly wear my shawls when I go to work. If I, you know, let's be honest. I. I rarely remember to bring a shawl with me. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Just fast forward. Anyway, um, so the this was the Madeline Tosh Twist Light, and I actually had quite a bit left over. I have quite a bit of the Modern Fair Isle, and I have almost a skein of the Leopard. So it went pretty far. Um, so I ripped out I can't remember what shawls I was working on before. Oh, the Pebble Beach, ripped that out. I messed up somewhere and just said forget it and ripped it out. Um, so I started a different Pebble Beach for my friend who's getting married and lavender is her favorite color. So I'm working on this one and this is using Madeline, no, Malbrigo lace in the orchid, orchid? I don't know, I can't think, orchid colorway. 
and I actually started this and messed up somewhere and this yarn really is very sticky it sticks together so when I tried ripping back it kept pulling the next rows with it and I was just getting so frustrated so I just decided to start over so I'm making this for her wedding I mean she doesn't have to wear it on her wedding but she's going on a cruise so I thought it'd be kind of nice a lace lightweight shawl to bring with her if it was cool on the cruise and I don't think she's gonna watch this so she won't see it at least I hope not <laughs> um, and then I've still got my sock going I really need to get back to this I'm getting really close to the end these are the simple skip or skype socks um, getting there so one day I'll finish one sock, maybe. Um, so Mother's Day weekend, I decided to run up to the yarn shop in Columbia and exchange some needles I got because they were wrong. Um, and I got that Malbrigo yarn. And I also got, and I just said I'm not a navy person. Yeah, I got navy yarn to make a sweater <laughs> but this is different because I can wear it with jeans um this will be all right to wear with jeans and then I was thinking about I'm like I probably should have got like a charcoal gray so I could wear it to work uh I don't know I'm thinking about it I may exchange it for a dark gray or black and I got this like oatmeal color to go with it or I may keep it and just have a navy sweater I can wear with jeans. So, we'll see. But this is lace weight and it's silk. It's 100% silk. It's like a raw silk. And this color is navy and this is angora. So, and there's a sweater. I can't remember the name of it. But it's called, there's something and then Kinu Love. I'll, if I can, I'll insert a picture here. And it's just a very simple, pretty sweater with three quarter length sleeves and stripes. So, we'll see. And I also got all of there. So, um, I've been saving all my envelope money and, um, I was supposed to go to Asheville last weekend for my friend's bachelorette weekend. Well, um, it got canceled because she broke her tibia, um, like her shin bone. And she broke that and um, she can't put any weight on it. So we decided to wait and not go. So I kind of spent all my Asheville money and I went to the yarn store and I also got this, this book, Interpretations 3 with Hohi Locatelli and uh, Vera Valama Valamac why can't I speak? Valamaki. I think that's how you pronounce it. Vera. Hohi and Vera. Hohi and Vera. Um, I love this book. I love all their books, but this one had a lot of a lot of pretty patterns. And I've actually been thinking of doing that breathing space. It's really cute. So I got that at the um, Luna Lola in Columbia, which is an awesome, awesome shop. And then um, I called Stitch and Frame in Rock Hill and asked them if they had a fat quarter of Legacy for Picture This Plus, 40 count. And they said yes. So I said, I guess I'm driving up there from Columbia. <laughs> so I... I ran up there quickly and got this fat half of Legacy. And this is where um, you'll really think I'm completely and totally insane. While I was at the stitching retreat in North Augusta, I saw someone working on his eyes on the sparrow on 40 Count Legacy. So I think I'm going to start it over again for the fifth time. Yeah, I did the 40 count doubloon 
Didn't like it. 36 count red. Didn't like it. <laughs> 40 count. I just started a tiny bit on 40 count vintage country mocha. And then 36 count doubloon. I thought I was loving it, but I don't like doubloon. I really don't like doubloon. And every time I looked at it, I'm like, it's so orange. I don't like orange. Um, and I loved how the girls looked on Legacy. I'm sorry, I, I don't remember her name. But it looked beautiful on the 40 Count Legacy. So one day, I don't know when, I don't know if it'll be anytime soon. Probably not. I'm going to restart this. <laughs> legacy. I know. I'm so crazy. I don't know what's wrong with me. So I sold it. I sold my fabric on Stash Unload. Someone very kindly bought it from me and hopefully it'll have a nice home. So I have about at least three or two or three. Two or three. I can't remember. Might just be two. Two of my His Eyes on the Sparrows that I've started are out there. And someone has found them good homes and hopefully is stitching them and we'll finish them. <laughs> yes, I'm crazy, but I love it on this. So ran up there, got that. And I also got this chart, which I love. Brick House Sampler. And I got some 28 count lamb's wool to stitch it over one. This is Joe Bland. I didn't get the Lugana. I thought I'd try the Joblan. Or Joblin. I'm saying it like a with a country accent. Joblan. Um, what have I been working on stitching wise? So let's see here. Um I don't know if I worked on this too much. I worked on this little angel a little bit. I think that's about all I've done. And I worked on this little motif. So that's, I think that's about all I've worked on, Martha Pudsey. But I really wanna get back to it. I wanna get it framed and on the wall. And I kinda of had, uh, I don't know, like a epiphany aha moment, like, what I really want in my house and on my walls are my samplers, our reproduction samplers, or primitive designs. Um, so I got rid of a lot of patterns. Like that white basket was almost completely full of patterns and I got rid of most of them. Um, I sold a lot. And um, so I'm really trying to think before I buy, think about what I really want on my walls, what I want to stitch. And it's mainly samplers, reproduction samplers, or, you know, like primitive designs. So I decided to, I posted on Instagram, my one and only mania start. And that is Sarah Tatum, 1800 by the Scarlet Letter. I've had this pattern in my stash I think before uh, my youngest was born it's been a long time I've had this forever and I love it so I finally put a few stitches in it just a few that was all I got done and this is 40 count vintage light exemplar and I'm using all the called for silk threads. And these are the Alvera Soi Soi Delger. They're so pretty. So, I just put these on my thread drops. So pretty. Love these silk threads. So, and the other thing I worked on a little bit was I got back out Francis Eden uh, by Handwork Samplers. And I've heard this goes in and out of print. Like sometimes they'll print a few. I think the attic sells them sometimes. And um, 
I think in stitches maybe in Alexandria, Virginia. Um, but it's it's really funky sampler. And I've had this kitted up forever with the Vicky Clayton hand dyed silks. A lot of bright colors, very pretty. And this is also a 40 count vintage light exemplar. And I just have a little bit of the house done there. And I just worked on that a little bit, filling in. But this is another one I really want to get back to. So I worked on that just a tiny bit. And I decided to start um, this one, that little pillow. started on 40 Count Legacy by Picture This Black. So that's all I have so far. And I switched out burlap for chamomile because my burlap was very brown. Is burlap? No, that's cider mill brown. Here's burlap. So that's burlap and I don't know, it just, the picture looked more green. Where did I put the picture? Let's put it back in here. The picture, it looks more green, but yeah, I think it looks all right. I think it looks better than this brown, this burlap. And it goes well with the grasshopper, which is the lighter green. So, so there's the chamomile and grasshopper. Hopefully it'll look okay. I think it will. Yeah, I'm liking that. Ginger, get. <laughs> she's <laughs> she's always got to be right in the way. But I think that's it. So um, come here. I know. Today was my oldest son's last day of high school. He is graduating next Friday, um, and then he's going on a trip his friends. After that, um, we'll be headed down to Florida and it is going to be on the 12th. It will be our 25th anniversary. So we're going to do a little something, just me and my husband on our own. And then my um, brother is getting married on the beach in Florida. So we're going to do something on our own, then meet up with the kids, my mom and my brothers. And it's going to be really fun be a lot of fun so I'm excited um, I'm looking forward to all that and then Bradley's gonna be he's got to do his orientation for college and then he's gonna be going off it's just so hard to believe that my baby's going to college but I'm very excited for him very excited um, so I guess that's it I will talk to you guys it's probably gonna be a while because it's gonna be a busy June so probably won't be until July maybe. So I hope you guys are having or will have a great end of spring, great beginning of summer, and I will talk to you later. Bye.